posts on Mastodon are called toots and just like many other social media, you can start typing inside the what's in your mind box. And again, like other social media, you have different options to post. Some of them have different features, I'll explain it in today's video, and one in particular is unique and very useful. So let's talk about posting, about toots on Mastodon. On the mastodon.social instance, you can write posts with up to 500 characters, but this is not set in stone. You may see longer posts on your feed because this depends on the server the person is using. If you don't know what a server, what an instant is, please watch my recent video explaining what is Mastodon and how it works. And like I said before, all you have to do is use the box to start writing. You can also add hashtags and emojis, some servers even have their own, their special emojis. But in my opinion, the most powerful feature here is the hashtag. There's another video here where I explain how to follow a hashtag, but it's quite easy. Just filter by that hashtag. You can either search for it or click on a hashtag on your timeline and click the icon to follow it. And now every time someone posts with that hashtag, you see that post on your timeline, even if you don't follow that person. So try to use hashtags, try to help other people find your content and follow the hashtags, the topics you are interested on. Another interesting feature here is editing your posts. Click the three dots and choose the option edit to edit your Post. There's no mystery here, just click the paper clip icon to attach images to your post. But there is a tip. After attaching one or more images, you see the edit word on the images. Click there to add a description to that image. The next icon is the poll option. Again, no mystery here, it's kind of self-explanatory. Just write a little text include some options, post, and that's it. The globe icon is where you set the visibility of the post. It can be public, unlisted, it can be set to followers only, or even only to people you mention on that post. And if you choose one by mistake, all you have to do is click again and select the right option before posting. Let's skip the CW option, I'll come back in a moment. Let's move to the last one. This is the language of your post. If you select the language, it will help people filter posts only by the language they can speak. If you go to edit profile and then preferences and other, you can filter the posts by language just select one or more. You can also select the default posting language. So if you have it set to English and let's say you also speak French and you are now writing a post in French, please try to remember to choose that to French to help other people that are using the filter. Let's say you want to talk about a movie, but you don't want the spoiler open on people's timeline you can use the content warning, click the CW option and you now see a little box on top of the posting box. Write your warning on the top box and the spoiler on the posting box and when you post it, people will only see the text you wrote on the warning box. To see the rest of the post, people will have to click the show more option. And talking about hiding sensitive content, you can do the same with pictures. Every time you upload an image, there's an option to select and blur that picture on the timeline. I hope the information was useful. If you want to learn more about Mastodon, I suggest this other video. And if you found this one helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you soon.